Today we are chasing daylight on the guacamole trail. Tonight we're squeezing in a last minute ride on guacamole trail in Virgin, Utah. I'm here with my friends Simon, Brownie, and Joseph. This trail's cool. Really pretty. Joseph's got an awesome YouTube channel called Miner Biker. He works in the salt mines in Utah as a mine engineer. And he explores all the back areas of Utah, the remote backcountry that nobody knows about. He knows more about the lesser known trails in Utah than any person I've met. And his channel is fun to watch. Yeah. Is that the main trail? That was awesome. You can go around. This is cool. This kind of looks familiar. Yeah. Bonus lines everywhere. Joseph said holy guacamole trail, which we won't have time for tonight. All the markers are petrified wood. My goodness, it's beautiful up here. Many years ago, there was a fire that took out all these trees. So Hurricane and the St. George area has four main mesa trails like this where you're up on top of a mesa looking down into the valleys. This is the guacamole area. This is fun. Another one is called Wire Mesa. Another is Gooseberry Mesa. And the last one is Little Mesa. All of them are very different. My goodness, that's gorgeous. We're looking into Zion National Park and the Red Bull Rampage site out there in the distance. That is beautiful. All right, this is the end of Margarita where guacamole starts. So the cool thing about these mesa trails is you're already on a mesa, so there's not a whole lot of descending or climbing. Just gentle ups and downs, and the views are so good. And there are so many bonus lines on this slick rock. It's really neat. These are petrified sand dunes. This used to be under an ocean. Pretty crazy to think we went from ocean to desert after all these years. You got it? Yeah. Oh, this is great. What a trail. <laughs> Puddle. Daughter and father out riding bikes together. Awesome she can do this stuff. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So first mountain bike trip.
Yeah. <laughs> This is so cool. Like a flatter, slower gooseberry to me. Okay, we got some challenging climbs coming up. Yeah. I love climbs like this. So good. That's the first time I asked the guys ever slipped. But. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I could jump that. Are we getting close or are we going to get in the dark here? You no, know, right up here is where it turns and starts going back the other way. Awesome. What do you think, Brownie? It's like riding your bike on the ocean floor. It <laughs> is. That's a great description. <laughs> All right, show us the way out of here. No guarantee you'll make it fine. You're gonna make it because I'm filming. You got the Asagai front and rear. Oh boy, this looks punchy. I'm gonna make sure I'm in my magic gear. I'm in my magic gear, here we go. Yeah, baby! Woo! I was looking for a line on the right, then I got stuck in the middle of it and just powered out. So right here, we're gonna keep going to the right, which keeps you on just the guacamole loop. You go left here, that starts you going clockwise on holy guacamole. Personally, my opinion, the best way to ride this is to come like we're doing, cross back over to the other side of holy guacamole, do it counterclockwise, then cross back again. So you do a figure eight on the two loops. That's okay. The, that's my favorite way to ride it. There goes the sun. This trail's perfect on a hardtail. Perfect on any bike. I almost didn't come out here. It's weird, when I talk to my friends, half of them say, it's amazing, you'll love it. And the other half say, eh, it's kind of boring. It's amazing and I love it. Especially with Joseph showing me all the bonus lines. That's really fun. This is so fun. Brownie, what do you think of this trail? It's beautiful and amazing and fun. I'll take natural terrain like this over bike parks any day. But I'm glad we have options and we have all of those to choose from. I feel like we're living millions of years ago and I'm just expecting a Tyrannosaurus Rex to run across there. Just feels like I'm on a completely different planet. Spectacular. Well done, Mother Nature. Well done. I love this bike. It is silent, except for that dumb WTV seat. No clanks, no rattles. Perfect length. Corner so well gets up ledges. Zero complaints about this bike. 
Right up here, we complete guacamole and tie back to margarita. It's kind of like a lollipop. It goes out, has a loop, and then holy guacamole, and then you ride back, and you can take salt on the rim, which is a little extra bonus line. And if you don't want to get turned around out here, pick a visual landmark. That volcano is a great one. It looks different from every other mountain out here. flows a little better this direction. We are at the junction of Margarita that way and Salt on the Rim that way. And I hear Salt on the Rim is a must do. You're good. What is wrong with me? That was so easy, but I blew it. There's a lake up here. Holy cow, people. Look at that. Holy cow. This is world class. Wow, look at that. That's incredible. And of course the cameras just can't capture it. Oh, I need my glasses. I get wet sand thrown into my eyelids. The light is so good right now. You got Zion National Park behind you with the cliffs glowing pink. Everything's glowing right now. That light is incredible. It's like wearing rose tinted glasses. Sunset tinted glasses. Wow. We live on an amazing planet. Every now and then you ride a trail and everything just clicks and it's a magical ride. Could be the people you're with, could be your level of fitness, could be the weather. Tonight is one of those rides. A special ride I will never forget. And now we're back on Margarita. What a trail. Perfect. Thank you for guiding us. Boy, we could not have timed this lighting better. We're less than a mile back to the car. This is what mountain biking is all about. Time in nature with friends, unwinding, unplugging. I don't know if it's cheaper than therapy, but it's just as effective. <laughs> 